We're going to talk through this and let's uh, get the Director of Legal at the Securities and Exchange Commission, uh, Mrs. Anastasia Brimer, to talk to us. She's live from our Abuja studios. Good morning, madam. Thanks for coming through. Good morning. Thank you for having me. We really appreciate your time. So, uh, these are seven uh, markets related uh, uh, laws. But well, let's start from the big boy, the Investments and Securities Act. Why do you think the ISA needs another review at this time? Um, before I answer your question, I'd like to give some background to put the discussion in perspective. Sometime last year, in June precisely, um, the Securities and Exchange Commission had a capital market conference in conjunction with the National Assembly. And it was at that conference that um, these legislators, legislations were identified as having a, an impact on in the investment business in Nigeria and needed to be, as it were, amended. So that, it was at that conference that it was decided that this law needed to be amended and the, the National Assembly actually agreed and was willing to support any bill that was presented before it for passage into law. So that is actually where the, the, the amendment uh, drive actually came from. And um, the RSA has been in operation now since um, 2007. And in the process, market operators and also um, staff within the commission have realized that there are certain provisions that need to be in the law to enable the regulator actually monitor the market properly. And that was why um, the market has been clamoring that these provisions be either included or deleted, as the case may be, to uh, ensure effective regulation of the market. That's what in informed the amendment of the ISA. Why, what will the SEC <clears throat> be looking for in reviewing the ISA as the uh, umbrella regulation for the entire securities market in Nigeria? Okay, some of the recommendations that um, the committee, a market-wide committee, had looked at when reviewing the law um, is one, the functions or the powers of the regulator as it were. Um, <coughs> there were some amendments made to the present act to, to enable the, the regulator carry out its compliance and enforcement functions properly. One is um, um, compelling information, audit information from its regulated entities. Either so we could call from information, but not specific information. We have that hurdle to cross. Another one is actually um, getting, um, um, prosecuting our cases. The IEC as it is only empowers the regulator to prosecute, prosecute civil cases. And you would agree with me, some of the violations of the capital market always have a criminal undertone. And we just felt that if we investigate these matters, we should have the powers to also prosecute. So that's one of the additions in the, in the, in the, in the Act. Another uh, one is actually deepening the market by some of the provisions that have been included in the Act. For instance, over the few months, the Commission has been trying to come up with rules regarding crowdfunding, which is a, an alternative non-traditional capital raising for um, small and medium-scale enterprises. But we found out that the law the ISA and even Kama, the Company and, and Allied uh, Matters Act, prevented small-scale companies from actually subscribing or inviting the public to subscribe to the shares. So these are some of the novel um, um, provisions that have been incorporated in the Act to deepen the market, to increase liquidity, and to enhance investor confidence in the market. Uh, are there new issues emerging from the trusteeship? Uh, investment market. Uh, are there some things that the SEC is looking at uh, in terms of uh, this particular aspect of the market? Which, mar which aspect of the market? I didn't quite hear you well there. Trusteeship. Trusteeship investments. Oh, trusteeship investment. In fact, the Trustees Investment Act is one of the acts that was actually reviewed by one of the committees. And if you look at the areas or the, the basket that um, trustees have discretion to invest in, it's very limited in the Trustees Investment Act right now. So one of the areas that was worked on was expanding that basket, not only to include federal, state, um, stocks, or the agencies, or, or securities issued by those agencies, but also to expand it to real estate, collective investment schemes, and other special funds that are already in the market. So we feel that by the time the trustees have a wider basket to invest in, this would actually help the market in depth and in liquidity as well. Uh, one of the new uh, bills that uh, the 
your team, uh, led by the Director General, presented to the Senate President yesterday, has to do the warehouse receipt bill, and this speaks to the commodity exchange side of things. Is this something that the SEC is looking to aggressively pursue uh, as Nigerian government focuses more on agriculture uh, as the economic diversification window? Yes, it did. Yes, indeed. In fact, um, we have some regulation that um, regulate commodities exchange in our rules. But the, the clamor for a, um, a warehouse receipt bill is to ensure that the, the exchanges manage the, the commodities that are sold in these in this ex, this ex exchanges or manage warehouses where these commodities are going to be kept. So in the warehouse receipt bill, you actually have provisions that talk about licensing of warehouses and their operators the guidelines, what they should follow, what they should do, and then also managing the commodities that are in the warehouse. 